on the Mylar DVD song. The Mylar, yeah. They should know what they should know. The City of Andalia Council meeting for October the 15th, 2018 will now come to order. We will begin with a moment of reflection, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Could you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Council, you've had the council study session minutes of October the 1st and the council meeting minutes of October the 1st available to you. Are there any questions about those or comments or revisions? Seeing none, they'll stand approved. We have no communications, petitions, or awards this evening, nor do we have any public hearing. And that brings us to comments from interested citizens. If there's anyone in the audience who would like to make a comment, would you please come forward to the podium, state your name and address for our records, and then your comment. Seeing none, we'll continue then with the city manager's report. 
Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Andrew. Just one item this evening. Uh, so Council's uh, budget workshop sessions for the proposed 2019 budget will take place next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So that's October 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, beginning at 6 p.m., and they'll be in the basement of the municipal building. Thank you. Uh, we have no old business this evening, and that brings us to our first resolution, which is 18-R-66. Mr. McDonald. A resolution declaring various items as surplus and authorizing disposal of such items. Thank you. Is there a motion? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Cruzy. You're free. <laughs> no, okay. we got enough. We, we know about it, but we let the audience know about what this is. Okay. Thank you. Thank I'm you, sorry. Yeah, so the various departments have compiled a list of items that staff would like to, uh, for council to declare a surplus and grant authorization to dispose of those items. Uh, the surplus items will be placed either on gov deals or otherwise disposed of by the city manager as provided by law. Thank you. Now, is there a motion? I move that we approve resolution 18 R 66. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Ehlers, second by Councilman Gerhardt, that we do approve resolution 18 R 66 as presented. Are there any comments? Would you please call the roll? Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Councilmember Gerhardt? Yes. Councilmember Farst? Yes. Councilmember Lewis? Yes. Vice Mayor Herbst? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7 0. Resolution 18 R 67. Mr. McDonald? A resolution authorizing the submittal of applications for Federal Fast Act funds through the Miami Valley Regional Planning Commission. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, so, for about the last year and a half, staff has been working with Five Rivers Metro Parks and a possible path connection uh, to Taylorsville Metro Park and the Great Miami, Valley, Great Miami River Trail. Uh, the proposed route would connect to Taylorsville Metro Park via the construction of a bike path along the eastern edge of Castle Hills Golf Course, as well as a new prefabricated bridge at US 40 across the railroad tracks. Uh, so funding for the construction of this project is proposed through the Miami Valley Regional Planning Commission's Congestion Mitigation and Air Quality Grant Program, along with m local matching dollars from uh, the Metro Parks as well as the city. Uh, so the total estimated cost in 2023 dollars is $2,949,350. Uh, so CMAC funding is being requested that will provide 79% of the funding for the construction uh, with a local match of 21%. Uh, so Vandalia's 50% share of the local match would be $406,323. Our local match does include 100% of the engineering cost, which would also be split with Five Rivers. Thank you very much. I just have one question then. Yes. And that is, you said, in uh, 2023 dollars. So Correct. we're going after this grant now, but it would not be effective until that year. Is that right? Yes, yeah, if we are awarded, correct. If we're awarded. Yes. OK, thank you. Is there a motion? I'll Go. make a Oops. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll move that we approve resolution 18R67 as presented. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Lewis, second by Councilman Blakesley, that we do approve resolution 18-R-67 as presented. Are there any comments? Would you please call the roll? Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Councilmember Gerhardt? Yes. Councilmember Fars? Yes. Councilmember Lewis? Yes. Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Vice Mayor Herbs? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7-0. Resolution 18-R-68, Mr. McDonald. A resolution approving the replat of lot 49 and 50 of the Falls Subdivision, Section 3. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, so the applicants have submitted a replat of 2240 and 2250 Settlers Trail that involves the relocation of the adjoining interior lot line. Uh, the applicants wish to, to connect the decks on the south and west side of their house to make them more functional. However, they recently discovered that their existing deck on the west side of the house was too close to the side lot line. Uh, this replat would bring the existing deck into compliance. Uh, the Planning Commission reviewed this plat at its September 25th meeting and voted 3-0 to recommend approval. Thank you very much. Is there a motion? Your Honor, I'll move that we approve Resolution 18-R-68 as presented. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Lewis, second by Councilwoman Fars that we do approve resolution 18-R-68 as presented. Are there any comments? <coughs> Would you please call the roll? Councilmember Gerhard? Yes. Councilmember Fars? Yes. Councilmember Lewis? Yes. Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. 
Council Member Blakesley? Yes. Vice Mayor Herbs? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7-0. <coughs> we have one uh, ordinance in this first reading this evening, and that's Ordinance 18-22. Mr. McDonald? An ordinance rezoning the property generally located at the northwest corner of Miller Lane and Stop 8 Road from residential single family to highway business and amending the zoning map of the city. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. And so Oakland Church is requesting to rezone 8.2825 acres at the northwest corner of Miller Lane and Stop 8 Road from residential single family to highway business. Uh, the property currently contains the church along Miller Lane. The subject parcels do not have a future land use map designation. However, adjacent properties are projected for commercial and office development. Uh, the development of this site will be regulated by the Miller Benchwood Redevelopment Overlay District. A replat has also been submitted that proposes to establish three lots and dedicate right away for this area. Uh, the Planning Commission reviewed this request at its August 28th meeting and they voted 4-0 to recommend approval, subject to the replat being approved. Thank you. Is there a motion? I move that we approve Ordinance 8-22 in its first reading. Second. It's been moved by Councilwoman Pars, second by Councilman Gerhardt to approve Ordinance 18-22 in its first reading. Are there any comments? Could you please call the roll? Councilmember Fars? Yes. Councilmember Lewis? Yes. Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Councilmember Gerhardt? Yes. Vice Mayor Hertz? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7-0. We have no ordinances in their second reading, nor do we have any emergency ordinances. And that brings us to our reports from boards and commissions with a variance uh, request at 260 North Dixie Drive. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, so Empower Jim is requesting a parking variance to allow for an expansion into additional tenant space at 260 West National Road. Empower is required to provide one space for each 200 square feet of floor area. Its current space occupies 8,000 square feet, therefore requiring 40 parking spaces. However, Empower uh, received parking variances in December of 2016 for its original space and March of 2018 for its current space, utilizing a parking agreement that was entered into with the Masonic Lodge uh, for use of an additional 38 parking spaces. Empower is proposing to increase its occupied space to 12,000 square feet, thereby requiring 50, 60 parking spaces. Empower would have 17 dedicated on-site parking spaces, uh, plus 38 spaces at the Masonic Lodge for a total of 55 spaces. Thank you. Is there a motion? Make a motion that we approve variance at 260 North Dixie, including all the conditions in the memorandum from Mr. Marlowe. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Blakesley, second by Vice Mayor uh, Herbst, that we do approve the variance request at 260 North Dixie Drive. Are there any comments from anyone? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Councilmember Lewis? Yes. Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Councilmember Gerhard? Yes. Councilmember Fars? Yes. Vice Mayor Herbst? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7-0. Uh, Council, you have the Board of Zoning <coughs> Appeal minutes from September the 26th, also the Planning Commission uh, minutes of September the 11th, and the Planning Commission minutes of September the 25th. Are there any comments about those? The bill listing for September is six million, whoops, in my eyes, $982,727.05. And, and that brings us to council comments, starting with Mr. McDonald. Nothing this evening, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cruzy. Uh, nothing this evening. Thank you. Councilman Blakesley? I just have one. Uh, I was invited by the mayor to, uh, to go to the American Germany Day in Indianapolis, which is cel actually celebrated in Indianapolis. And it was a day that I didn't realize it was tied to a law programmated back by uh, President Reagan. And it was October 6th uh, of 1986 is when that was put in. And because it was tied to uh, sister cities, uh, mayor felt that maybe I was best representative. So it was interesting to go to that and see the relationships between the two countries and sister cities and just the cultural differences. And again, uh, it was nice to be able to see some of those things and share our experiences and how that's done in other cities as, as well. So it was, uh, it was a good time and um, that's 
That's all I had. Great. Thank you so very much. Uh, Councilwoman Fars. Um, I <clears throat> just want to take a moment. Um, you probably all have noticed that the um, utility box wraps went up the last couple of weeks. We've had a piece on Facebook. So there were six pieces, and those were paid for out of um, grant money from Dayton Power and Light. So those were not city funds. Um, I think er most everybody has enjoyed them. I think we all have different tastes in art. Amber was... Um, was uh, at the top of that uh, production list where she made that happen quickly and efficiently and um, I think we've all really enjoyed that. Um, if you weren't aware, we did a few um, public meetings where we uh, invited people to vote on their top picks and that those are the six that went up and I like them and um, I, that's part of our downtown street, streetscape that we're trying to um, move toward and Hope you all hope you all enjoy those as much as we do. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Councilman Lewis. <laughs> no, thank you, Your Honor. Okay, Councilman Aylers. Nothing. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Gerhardt. Uh, no comments. Okay, Vice Mayor Herbs. Yes. Uh, first of all, I'd like to compliment the uh, Vandalia Shopping Center for the sealing and repair work that they've done on their parking lot. It does look much better. Uh, it's a big improvement and kind of what uh, Candace was talking about on the street, streetscape project, the crosswalk striping, that's all been completed. And uh, it is a, a subtle improvement, but uh, it is uh, very appealing and increases the appearance of our downtown. Yeah, I'm gonna add to that. I had a couple people tell me that they felt it was um, uh, really a good safety factor, that you notice those crosswalks now much more than before. And when they take notice, they'll notice people walking in them and it'll be, they'll be more careful. So that's an added addition, positive mm -hmm. to that. Anything else? Nope. Okay, and I just have one comment. Um, for many, many years, Councilman Jack Shirley would always bring this comment up in October, and that is, please replace the batteries in your smoke detectors. So. Just following suit with him, I thought it was a very good idea that he always reminded us, and so I'm reminding you all now. And with that, we'll go and um, we have an executive session planned, and the purpose of the executive session is to consider employment and compensation of a public employee, more specifically matters relating to the city manager. And uh, if we could do that, I need a motion for that. So moved. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Lewis, second by Councilwoman Fars, that we go to our executive session. And would you please call the roll, Mr. Councilmember Athers? Yes. Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Councilmember Gerhard? Yes. Yeah. Councilmember Fars? Yes. Councilmember Lewis? Yes. Vice Mayor Herbs? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes. And uh, that passes, and we will then, at the end of the executive, executive session uh, reconvene to this meeting so that we can have an adjournment. So thank you very much. Hey, Chris, are you joining this session? I'm sorry. Are you, you going to be in this session? Huh? Just commenting on the fray of the quickly the motions were coming tonight. Yeah. Hey, can we do a selfie with you guys? We're gonna get really our pictures.